Okay, here we have the Pendlay bearing bar. You'll notice the nice end cap on it with the logo. And you'll see that this is a fairly classic looking bar. It's kind of that relatively bright silver look across the entire bar, like many of the chromed bars that you're familiar with, kind of the standard bar. Um, this isn't actually chrome though, it's a bright zinc coating, which is difficult to see um, right now. It's really not quite, it's not as shiny as a chrome finish that you might be used to. It's got more of a cloudy look to it, but it's a good looking bar. You'll see it's a very classic looking bar, and there are other videos that give you a, a chance to get an idea of what it's like. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to go up and take a look at this bushing. That's going to be an interesting discussion point later on. You can see, I believe, the brass bushing inside there. It plays a functional role, and uh, I've spoken with her, I've emailed and corresponded with Glenn on why they chose to do that, so we can talk about that in the review also. Um, but this is a bearing bar, so there's five needle bearings inside. Let's get a feel for how it rotates empty. Listen to the sound. And now what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and put a 10 kilo bar on it and then let you see this again. So here you can see we have a 10 kilo plate. You can see we have a work sand 10 kilo plate on it. Now let's give it a twist and watch it and listen to it. So it clearly has quite a nice spin to it. It spins for quite a while, perhaps even a bit longer than the, than the Bergener bearing bar did. But it also has a noise associated with it. I think you can hear that noise. Um, and I think that that's probably related to Glenn's use of uh, gel lubricant inside uh, to keep any leaking from occurring. But then, of course, gel lubricants probably don't get around the bearings quite as smoothly as, a, as an alternative kind would. That probably will work in over time as you use the bar more.